You should be launching on every platform that makes sense for your game. If your game plays well on a platform, you know, game-wise, and it's fun on a platform, there shouldn't be a technical reason you don't launch on that platform. Online services covers a whole bunch of things for scavengers. First off, we manage the meta progression data API. So this is a backend service that handles your levels, what champions you own. The second section of that is the matchmaking and lobby. And the last part is social, right? We have a social system, friends list, chat, all that. The Midwatcher team is small. They're a bunch of former Halo devs. They have amazing game dev experience, but it's a tiny new studio. We don't want their code base bogged down with a bunch of platform specific stuff. So we basically took all of that away from them, right? They're focused on the game client, they're focused on the game server, and IMS is kind of handling everything else. They can focus on their game, focus on making it fun, and we could provide these multiplayer, multi-platform aspects. The first thing is to spin up we chose to make an OAuth 2 standard server, right? So OAuth 2 is kind of the standard open access identity provider standard that everyone uses. On top of that, we have to add in platform support for all these game platforms, right? So we allow your game clients to easily log in of Steam, log in of Epic, log in with Xbox, log in of Sony, based on the login mechanisms that are already there. It's building on standards that already exist and then integrating with all of these third-party platforms that may or may not do things in standard ways, right? Some of them do, some of them don't, but those are intricacies we take care of so that you could have cross-progression, cross-play, and all of those things really, really easily. Every game has different requirements on who can party up with who, how big these parties can be, can you make groups, can you make teams. So we made a custom solution just for scavengers. It's built off XMPP. The reason we did that, it's a protocol that's again open, standard, you can find clients for it anywhere, it's very easy to integrate with. And on top of that, the biggest thing was that there's already plugins for both Unreal Engine and Unity Engine to use XMPP, right? So we chose a chat solution that would make it the easiest for the midwinter client team to integrate with. This is probably the most involved of all the systems we've done. A lot of the quirks on the different platforms are relatively tiny, especially when dealing with auth. A lot of them do the same, very similar things, except real money transactions and microtransactions in games, none of the stores do it the same way. One of the tricky aspects is the different platforms actually own a lot of the the data, right? Like when you're buying stuff in Scavengers, you're giving your credit card information to Steam or to PlayStation or to Xbox. The progression server lets you buy things on all of these different platforms. We abstract that all away. Your financial information is safe with those platforms. You're buying from a trusted source. You're buying from Microsoft. You're buying from Sony. And we just made it look the same on Midwinter's client, right? There is no client code needed to handle these different items, right? You just see what's for sale, the user requests to buy something, and we handle it all in the background on that platform. With Crossplay, the biggest goal directly right now for launch is certification on all the platforms. But after that becomes scavengers improving their game. Focus on making the game fun, and we'll focus on keeping it running.